How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbine Gaming. Welcome back to the next episode of the Adventure Quest Tome Mage series as well as Nostalgia Quest Season 3. Okay, so I know I promised you guys that I'll go through uh, with you guys more in depth on why I picked certain things up for my inventory from last week's video. So let us first go through that. Okay, I made more changes since then because I figured out that some items just weren't working out as well as I thought. Alright, so first things first, Staff of All, I actually swapped out my No Drop to the Ice Element and of course switching uh, to Staff of All instead of Blade of All. Right, so Book of Burns, this is obviously in there. Okay, all of this stuff, Silver Lightning Rod, I actually bought that from Wallach's Advanced Magic Shop, if you guys are wondering where you can get that. Okay, and Blade of the Thornful Rose, we are going to go ahead and get the Healing Branch uh, in today's episode. This, so this is just a placeholder, okay. We'll be switching this out later at the end of the episode. For Darkness Weapon, I'm not really sure what Darkness Weapon to use. Currently, I have Terror Eater inside here, but I don't think there's good synergy with anything in general. So if you guys know of a good Darkness Weapon, there is the Tome of Cerberus, but I think that's more towards fire and not so much of Darkness. Okay, if you guys know of a good Darkness Weapon that I can use for the build, do leave your comments down below. And I have one more slot because Law Master's Tome compresses both light and earth element so i have one more slot for utility weapon um i don't know if i want to use foam finger or i should use like a damage boosting stuff like a sila stuff or something like that okay i should probably get a uh i arcane ice cutlass i don't know if there's one available yet i'll go and check out the ultra rare shot i don't think we have an arcane cutlass for ice available yet but if there is i think that will fit the build perfectly because I have Frigid Zorbeck Door uh, com compressing an ice spell in my miscellaneous slot. So if I had that, that would be great. But right now, I don't think there is such an option. So yeah, it is what it is. Okay, uh, till then, we'll probably put Foam Finger inside here first. If you guys know of a better utility weapon for me to use, do let me know down in the comments as well. Armors. Okay, armor changed it to Insightful Armor of All because fully defensive. And this will be better compared to the Ultra Guardian Armor. Okay. Geo Castellum ropes. Okay, you might be wondering if I'm going more towards the dodge route, why do I have damage reduction uh armor like Geo Castellum ropes inside? And the simple answer is there is a lack of a of a better defensive of armor. This is probably the best defensive of armor inside of the game, so um uh, why not just use it? I know it doesn't have synergy blocking, but if we ever want to switch over to damage reduction, at least we can do so. Right, and of like like I said earlier, there is no better defensive of armor inside the game for me to use. So I have to resort to using this. I don't think it's a bad armor per se. And I still do think that it doesn't need a lot of stuff for it to synergize well with. Its own skill is already good enough. You don't really need synergy with anything else. So yeah, I'm okay with that. Questers Heavy Gunner. Okay, this one was suggested by someone in the comments of the previous video. So we are going to go ahead and use this. I can't really... I think it comes with a... Uh, skill as well as a uh, sort of like a mana shield or something like that. Can't really remember where to test it out. Champion Holy Arcanist swapped out Avenger for Arcanist because uh, I'm playing a mage build. And then Twilight's Mantle for the Darkness Armor. Okay. Shields. Shields uh, swapped out to Mechalot Buckler because I'm running Charisma build. I don't want to use too much SP. So I think Mechalot Buckler is better because it doesn't consume my SP like how Golem Guard does. Okay, Haunted Dragonlord's Will and Eclipse Dragonlord's Will. These two shields, probably the best shields inside the game. I can use it to reduce damage if I need to. Strawberry sh Oh, yeah, the Energy Shield. I swapped out Pixel Guard for Evolve Protector Shield simply because this one gives me more blocking. As compared to Pixel Guard, small chance to reduce damage taken. Wait, or is it BTH? I can't remember, but I think Evolve Protector Shield is better. Let me know if Evolve Protector Shield is better or Pixel Guy is better. But I think I'll switch I'll stick with this uh for the blocking aspect. Alright, spells. Spells I swapped out Essence of Carnage because it wasn't working very well with what I'm currently using. So instead I have Gandolphin here as suggested by someone in the comments of the previous video as well. Gandolphin Again, not much synergy blocking, but if we need like a uh, resource or uh, a monster is about to deal a heavy nuke and it's unavoidable, then I guess Gandolphin would be useful. Coupled with Joe Castellum ropes, that'll make us pretty much uh, invincible. Okay, and we have the two Dragon Lord shields as well. Okay, sh 
For gases, uh, chosen to keep Shogun and Satsu simply because this compresses both fire and wind element. Okay, Nezu Jimbo contract for ice and Mogdin for energy. I don't have gases of every single element, but I'm compressing four out of the eight elements inside the game. I think that's good enough. I don't really need to use all eight elements, in my opinion. Okay, there is a uh, light gas inside of Champion Holy Arcanist. So I actually have five or uh, out of the eight elements covered. I'm not sure if uh, the remaining three elements, namely water, uh, darkness, and... What's the last one? Water, darkness, and... Uh, oh my gosh. Water, darkness, and fire. Are that... No, not fire, sorry. Water, darkness, and... Is it earth? Yeah, water, darkness, and earth. Okay, I'm not sure if I really need those three elements. I was thinking of getting the Doomquake minion spell, which I probably will the next episode. Then maybe we'll switch out either Arcane Amplification and Una Poka. So we are at least so we'll have six elements covered. Okay, I don't really think there's a need to cover all eight. Maybe one or two elements will just leave it without a guess. You know what I'm saying? Because I really want all of these uh, items inside here so far. I could swap out Gandalfin for the uh, Doomquake minions, but we'll see. Okay, pets. Not many changes. Oh yeah, we swapped out ex experimental robo cockatrice for adept protein. More damage. Okay, bun banneret obviously there to help with the blocking. So really good. And then miscellaneous items. Oh no, I'm pretty happy with the miscellaneous items. So I don't think I'll. Oh yeah. Uh, except for the mine gauntlet. Mine gauntlet is sort of in a weird place. So we'll take this out. And I'm not sure what I want to use here. Either Prime Chaos Orb or Ilahi Earth of Osiris. I think we'll stick with Ilahi Earth first, okay? Maybe we might use Prime Chaos Orb at some other time. I'm not entirely sure. Or we could also use Arya's Rattle. Uh, honestly, there's a lot of choices on what I could use for my miscellaneous items. Maybe Arya's Rattle. Yeah, I think Arya's Rattle would be a better choice, okay? Simply because I can use it uh, for anything. Yep, alright, so this is our inventory and 294 million go. Oh, wow. We are going to only get less after this episode. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the Healing Branch Water Weapon. And you need to go to Travel Map. Sail East. Travel South. Haven. Alright, so back to the Neckos. Mind if I explore the town? Alright, so click on the town circle, click the hospital building in the Red Cross, got any quests? Sure. Okay, you need, okay, Fern Bully, yep, this is the correct quest. Alright, all the components we need should be around here. The plants in this forest all contain some sort of basic genetic component that I can use to make my medicines and curatives. Oh, uh, before I continue the quest, one more thing. Some of you guys have been asking me to, gi uh, to give a more detailed review of the protector armor and whether it's worth it or not. In my opinion, the newly revamped protector armor is not worth it, so I would not recommend you guys to go ahead and get it at all. You guys can go ahead and check out the info subs. I'm not entirely sure if it's out yet, but in my opinion, it is not worth it. The effect is not super good. And on top of that, it also causes Z token. So no, I will not advise any one of you guys to buy it. Okay, I will not be buying it. You guys can go ahead and look at the artwork uh, on the forums, okay, if you guys want to. What I need you to do is gather the basic components for the medicine I request and bring them to me. I can then use my nature magic to merge them into a plant which will provide the necessary medicinal remedy. Pay close attention to the patient's symptoms and try to gather enough components to make a medicine which will treat all of their injuries. By the way, I'm really looking this Ultra Guardian look. Really cool, and uh, I can take off the helmet like that. Wow, but I think I look better with the helmet though. Alright. Well, I think you have the required ingredients. I will be waiting in the middle of the forest to craft your item. Do you understand what I'm asking of you? Yeah, let's go. A patient of mine is suffering from a strange form of paralysis. Normal paralysis treatment doesn't seem to work. However, the patient has experienced temporary remission of all symptoms when exposed to catnip, and with each dose, the cat effects have lingered longer than the last dosage. My thinking is that if I can create a flowering plant that can provide him with ample doses of catnip and small amounts of healing, he may eventually reverse and even resist whatever ailment is immobilizing him. I need you to find the ingredients. Please be sure to gather enough for all of them. Uh, hmm. 
let's see here let me take a look to see which one I need to go ahead and take okay so paralysis we need to take enchanted soil pretty peony hydra vine and iron orchid okay uh nope Let's go this side. Iron Orchid. Okay, so we'll take this. I don't think you need to go in order, right? Enchanted Soil. Pretty Peony and High... Hydra Vine. Oh, it's all here. Okay, nice. Wait, this is Hydra Ivy. Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. Hydra Vine. Don't know why when you click on it, it says Hydra Ivy. They almost scared me there. Okay. Uh, I think this is everything we need. Wait, let's double check. Okay, yep. Hmm, yes, those ingredients should work nicely. And no sign of any wildlife attacks, thankfully. So we can always come back for more. Nice, no battling. Alright, let's take them back to the hospital now. What was that? We had better investigate. If there is indeed wildlife out here destroying these precious plants. It's essential that we deal with them. Okay, apparently plants are more important than animals. <laughs> Who are you? Greetings, I'm known as Vetty B. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So is it you who has been destroying the flora in this portion of the forest? Indeed, I am the rapscallion who has been decimating this loca locality of the woodland. I have guided myself through ample physical instruction because I sought to test my mettle against an explorer of immense fortitude. Are you just reading from a thesaurus right now? No one talks like this. <laughs> I find this funny because... A lot of our characters talk like this nowadays. <laughs> Yeah, I attribute it to Grace writing. <laughs> okay. Oh dear, I did not anticipate that a charlatan of your demeanor would see fit to provoke me. Seriously, you're just doing that on purpose, aren't you? Do all creatures of your type speak as strangely as you? Very well, then. Ratty B deeply sympathizes with the daring stooge who would dare to foment such enmity in him. Lament your impending predicament. Can we just fight already? Alright, let's battle by ourselves. Ready B. Okay, wind damage, huh? Fujin armor. And we'll be looking to switch this out for the ghost costume once Moglowin comes around. Let's get started. Okay, so we want to hit him with Earth. Okay, and yes, I know I do not have an Earth guess, but whatever. Lawmaster Tome. Pets will... Yes, we can use our new Adept Protean for more damage. Vulnerability inflicting strike. Okay, so let's do Purple Rain first. Oh, I realize I don't have a lot of SP. So let's gain SP. Let's do Power Gauntlet. Oh, Yendiot. Damn. Wait, no. Whoops. Shouldn't be slowing time. I should be halting time. Always click wrongly on that. Okay, Mix Nuts. Let's do... Damage. Let's do Essence Orb. Arcane M. Unapoka. And let's do some Shadow Feeder as well. Okay, two turns. Can we try and get a few more? Four rounds. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's bring all this back. And then I think we use do we use Arias Rattle or Frigid Zorbeck Door? Let's do Arias Rattle. Okay, and then we oops, skills. We can do Wall of Wind, which will increase our blocking. Actually, let's do that since this is a defensive build. I want to showcase the true powers of this build. Okay, so we will do Arias Rattle. Then let's do Wall of Wind. 24 to blocking defense. Ooh, should have done this before I did purple rain. That's fine though. That's totally fine. Attack. And we want to hit him for earth. So we'll do the ugly. Of course, we have the big picture of... Uh, who is this again? Is this Twilly's old artwork? I cannot remember who is that. But yeah. Yeah, Twilly's original artwork. God, this is ugly indeed. Very suitable name. Nice. 
Okay, so let's attack again. Now he's vulnerable, so should be slightly more damage. That's good. Nice. 174%. Okay, he's going to hit us with some crazy SP attack next turn. Let's do the Wall of Wind again. Okay, I'm going to equip Horo Show to increase my blocking and then we'll do Wall of Wind. Alright, very very high blocking right now. He shouldn't be able to hit Chu. So let's draw mana. Draw mana again. He's not using his SP attack. Why is that so? Uh, draw mana. The thing about this build is you have to keep drawing mana. That's that's the only bad thing. Maybe I should get an MP restoring guess. Ooh. Okay. So wow, he hit pretty hard, but luckily one of them missed thanks to our wall of wind. Okay. Yeah, the only bad thing about this build is the MP restoration. Maybe I should switch out uh, one of my pets for a MP healing pet. Yeah, I probably should. Meteor Jelly is MP healing, right? Yeah, it actually is. Why did I not think of that? Let's do this. And maybe you'll take away Horo Show and put in like the Arya's Rattle instead. Okay, so we should be able to kill him this round. Oh god. Missing just a little bit, that's fine. Wow, just nice, we have one MP left. Alright, goodbye to Reddy B and done. That drove him off. He may want... You may want to be careful, he could come back any time, and if he does, we shall be ready. We cannot allow anything to damage this delicate forest region. Since you have been such a tremendous help, perhaps you would like to take some of these creatives with you on your adventures? Nice. So we do get some stuff. Some free stuff. Let's see what we have. Uh, Catnip sensors. Hold on. Wait a minute. Where is my healing branch? Where is my healing branch? Oh, look. Oh, okay. You don't... You need to do the right quest in order to get the healing branch. Okay, so I guess we do the quest again and fight Ready B again. Okay. Which one gives you healing branch? I am not sure. I'm not sure which one gives you healing branch, but let's go ahead and try that again until we get healing branch. Okay. Paralysis again. Can we just leave? Uh... Can I just leave? Really? Come on. Just give me the one that I want. Okay, maybe you don't do paralysis. We'll do something else. There's four rewards and... No, wait. There's five rewards. And how many quests are there? I think there's one, wait, one, two, three, four, five. There's five different quests. Okay, so paralysis gives me catnip. If I am not wrong, we have to get 
healing staff in order to get the healing branch. Okay, so let's try and aim for that. One of our expeditions into the wilderness located a rather large swamp region previously uncharted on our maps. Unfortunately, the waters were tainted with some manner of toxin and it sickened quite a few of them. Happened to have created... Oh, this is a toxin one. Okay, I don't think it's toxin, so... Enchanted soy... Uh, pretty peony pure blood healing spring. Okay. Enchanted soy, pretty peony and... What's the last one? Healing Spring. Okay, yep, it is not this one either, so we have to go ahead and flee once again. Let's get our SP all the way up. I don't know how many tries this will take, but I don't think I'll cut the video. Let's just see how many tries it will take me uh, to get the healing staff or the healing branch. The healing staff quest for the healing branch, yeah. Alright. Haven, let's go, come on. Just give me the one I want, please. I wanna go to bed. It's freaking 1am. Paralysis again, really? Man. Why are so many people getting paralyzed? Are you kidding me? Ah. Uh. Okay, so we flee once again. Looks like it's completely randomized. Can't we just choose? It'll be better if they let us choose, right? That'll be a nice quality of life improvement. Though I don't know if anyone will, like, do this quest more than one time once they get what they want. You could want more than one item from this quest alone, but I don't think it's common. Paralysis again. You know the worst part is that there's no way to... Like you have to do all this dialogue, there's no way to like just leave halfway. After seeing uh, it's not the thing that you want. Like you have to go into battle with this guy. Flee. And then go and retry the whole thing all over again and click on that dialogue all over again. That That is kind of annoying. Healing on a time delay. Wait, no. Time delay healing, not this one. Okay, it seems to be going in order though. I got paralysis, I got toxin, and then now I get the time delay. So, after time delay, there's physical ailments and then healing stuff. I don't know if it's going in order though. Time delay healing, enchanted soil, clock carnation. Okay, clock carnation. Enchanted soil. Creeping kudzu. Where is Creeping Kudzu? And... Healing Spring. Okay, Healing Spring. Where is the Creeping Kudzu again? Ancient Tree. Nope. Oh, there you are. Okay. Wait a minute. Enchanted Soil. Clock Carnation. Healing Spring. Oh, large seed, sorry. Whoops. I got the wrong one. Large seed. Whoopsies, I misread. Okay, so time to flee once again. Is this supposed to be in order or am I just that unlucky that I got everything in order and healing stuff just happens to be the last one? I don't know, man. Please tell me you don't have to do everything twice. That would be incredibly stupid. Either that or I'm just incredibly unlucky. I think it's probably because I'm unlucky. Okay, let's go gather plants once again. Please. Healing on a time delay. No, come on. Clock carnation. Large seed healing spring. What's the last one? Enchanted soil. Ah. Uh. 
Oh my god, here we go again. Okay, this takes too long, I'll just cut this entire part out. Alright, three more tries. Okay, we don't get it in the next three tries, then I'm just gonna cut this until we get to the part. Because I don't think you guys want to see me click, uh, keep retrying this, it's pretty boring, right? Healing on a time delay again. Come on. Okay, so this is one try. Two more, please. Just give it to me in the next two tries. Come on, man. Just one, the freaking healing stuff. I'm not even going to bother to heal. I think it's a waste of time. Oh god, healing on a time delay again. Is there any way to refresh the quest? Looks like there isn't. So yeah, once you get it, you're pretty much stuck with it. Alright. One last try and then I'm cutting the video. If we don't get it on the last try. Please... Give it to me. Just give it to me. Healing to my patients at a more rapid pace. Believe that I can cover stuff. Oh yes, we got it. The last time. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I believe that I can craft a staff which will work well as a channeling device for my nature magic, allowing me to heal patients with greater power and efficiency. But to make such a staff, I'll need ample healing reagents so that I can treat any number of ailments and of course a healing reagent wouldn't hurt. I need to find the ingredients. Please be sure to gather enough for all of them. Alright, so healing staff. We need the Neo... don't know what... Neosporian... Oh, oh my god, I can't read... I can't pronounce this. Pure Blood Lily. Healing Spring. And the Ancient Tree. Okay, let's go. Yes, now, Ratty B. Prepare to meet your maker. Let's get started. Okay, so let's do purple rain first. We'll do this. And this. Oh, yeah, and the okay. Frozen, nice. Let's do damage. What was it that I forgot about just now? I can't even remember what I forgot just now. Oh well. Let's see, let's get a few shadow feeders in. Five rounds, okay. Oh yeah, the Wall of Wind. Yeah, that was why I forgot. Okay, there's no point doing Wall of Wind right now because he's stunned for one turn. So we are going to waste one turn of the Wall of Wind if we do it now. So I'm not going to do it uh, on this turn, okay? So do Arya's Rattle and then Skills. No, not Skills, sorry. So let's just do Attack and let's do the Ugly, okay. Nice, let's do that again. And get some nice healing. 330. Wow, Celerity basically heals up all of it and even more. So, so that's great. So we'll do Wall of Wind right now. And then we will do... We can do Imanok Edoc as well. Oh. 
guess we can't do that. Whoops, I forgot. You can't stack that. Okay, let's do bag of mixed nuts. Increase block rate. Let's do all nuts. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. Let us attack. And I'm pretty much healing all of the MP that I spent and more. Okay, no, I'm healing back all of the MP for one cost, one one full spell. Okay, and slightly more than that. I'm healing 660, one spell cast costs 653. So that means that I can effectively get like an additional two casters. So that's great. Oh, 252 two only. Alright, not that great. 282. Let's do that again. I guess it's pretty good synergy with the Meteor Jelly since you're healing so much MP. Nice. Oh, okay. Need to restore now. <clears throat> nice. Two blocks. Okay, we could do Wall of Wind again, but I think I shall not bother. Let's just finish him off as quickly as we can. Two two eight, okay. Two seventy, all right. I'll take that. One point nine k left. Come on, man. I think we'll need two more turns to kill this guy. Ooh. That's fine, we'll still survive, so I'm not too worried. Please give us enough MP to heal. No, not heal, sorry. To cast a spell, alright. Still missing out a little bit, that is okay. We should be able to kill him this turn. He has no luck, so he's not going to be able to lucky strike and one shot us, so I'm not worried about that at all. Nice. Alright, let's finish this guy and get our healing branch. Yay. It's kind of worried that the video will be a little short, but I guess half of the video is spent on refreshing the quest until I get it. Nice, nice. Healing branch. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And of course, my inventory slot is full. 100 weapons already. Alright, so Healing Branch is our 101, uh, 101st weapon. Let's buy this. Yay, and I am pretty much quite happy with my current inventory state right now. Uh, once again, I am still taking in suggestions, okay? I do not think that this is final yet. If you guys have any suggestions on what you guys would like me to change out, please do leave it down in the comments below and of course provide uh the reasoning for it like you guys have always uh done so all right i really appreciate all of your feedback and the time that you guys take to go ahead and leave the feedback and advice on my videos and it's not just for me but basically for anyone else who is basically uh, looking to play this a similar build they can look through your advice as well and you know find some great items there so that's going to do it for today's video guys i hope you guys have enjoyed if you have be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more of such future content till the next time i'm your host carbon gaming peace out